How's it going, everyone? My name is Dave, and welcome to another discussion of the Rants video. Before I begin the, this video, I do want to thank you guys for the large amount of support that this series has been getting. Um, as I was going through all of the different uh, questions that could be presented, and I started talking about them, I actually came across one particular question that came across my mind in the first place that actually wasn't on the list of questions that I found. And that question is, what exactly is strength of mind? Well, strength can actually come in many forms. That's the thing. If we're talking about strength of mind, that, to an extent that really doesn't work because the mind itself, the mind controls the entire body. Physical strength, mental strength, social strength, you name it, that's also strength of mind. So what is strength? And how does it benefit us in, as a whole? Well, I'm going to go by line by line with each individual strength and give my own kind of personal thoughts on it and see if I can give my own personal examples as well. So, I think a good example of physical and willpower kind of a mix of the two, uh, I should probably point out before actually mentioning this, strength, one way or the other, always mixes two different types. There's never just one specific strength on its own. I mean, give boxing for example. I'll get to my original example in a sec, but take boxing as an example of what I'm saying, and you have to have the right strength in mentality, and you have to right, have the right amount of physical strength to be able to do that, because you need the persistence, which is part of mental strength, and willpower, same thing, well, same type of strength, and you have to have the right amount of physical strength that way you don't, you know, there's not enough force going against you to the point where you end up in the hospital. And some people still do, but you still have to have that right amount of strength to be able to go forward to do that. That being said, I'm going to get to my original example, which was actually going to be surgery. In my life, I have actually had four surgeries. Two I didn't really have. Now, it was actually two different time periods of surgeries, just two done each time. Um, but that being said, it's still technically four one way or the other. But two of these were by my own choice. These two I had to know the outcomes. These two surgeries were done on my brain. I think I can actually... There's a reason I actually have this long hair here, other than the fact that I like the style. Let's see, can I actually show off the split, at least? That little curve right there? Ah... Uh. This location here, that, that is part of it. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, my hair. <laughs> that scar actually goes back and across. Uh, the cross actually came from my original two, and then the other surgery that I decided on has... They ended up cutting open this side. That being said, that's just kind of physical proof and example, I guess. But what I had, the point of all this is that I had to have the right amount of mental strength and physical preparation, physical strength to be able to go into that. Now, the reason behind surgeries is this. It relies on trust. You have to have the right strength in mind, mental strength, 
mental knowledge to be able to a trust somebody trust a doctor to be able to work with your own body bodily mind um and you have to have the right amount of physical strength to simply just walk in and say okay ready to go it's a lot of mental strength compared to physical but you still do need the physical strength because trust you me the after of this hurts <laughs> Like, I could not see for three months because of it. Now, this is just one example that I think to be very prime compared to boxing, which was another good example. Sports in general, I think, are very good examples when it comes to uh, strength of mind. Just because, well, strength of mind, it's not particularly based around... A certain type of strength as I said kind of earlier but in the end no matter what way you look at it the most amount of strength you have to have is willpower determination all that kind of stuff all that good jazz oh yes because I normally talk like that um, but in all seriousness strength of mind is a very important thing in life it Come, it answer, actually also answers a lot of questions that I came across earlier. Let's see if I can find a good example of one. Um, I guess a good example where that could be a good answer to it would be the question, do hardships make a person stronger? Simple answer to that. What is the person's strength in mind? How strong are they mentally? How determined are they to push forward? You know, that kind of stuff. People who get suicidal or depressed very easily, well, hardships won't be the best way to make them stronger. Support, on the other hand, would. It would give them a stronger peace of mind and help lift them up. So strength of mind really also depends on the person. Hardships... Like for me, there was a point in time where hardships would just kill me. I'd literally be dead after a specific point in time if it wasn't for Silver, my current girlfriend. Um, <laughs> she kept me in check. Eventually, and, and, and at the time being, we were not boyfriend and girlfriend, but eventually she and I ended up together again. And, well, let's just say... <laughs> I would not have the great state of mind I have right now if it wasn't for her. There's always a push. There's always something that pushes people into going, Hey, this, I need this particular state of mind. Hey, yes, this is a good idea. Yes, I'm, I'm able to do this. Like that kind of thing. Willpower. You can't have willpower with the proper strength of mind, which is always pushed. By something. Depends on the person. Usually it's pushed by another person. Like for me, it was my girlfriend. Um, and for others, it could be their parents, their family. The love and support of other people. For others, it could just be peer pressure that causes that strength of mind to fade. And they usually do have a normal, good strength of mind. So it really depends on the person. But it also always kind of seems to come down to the people you're around. Now, that being said, that could be a topic for another day. Um, let's see, where are we on time on this? I don't want to make this any much longer then. Uh, I actually am going to leave this video here. Um, what do you guys think about Strength of Mind? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to check out any other stuff, um, any other discussions and rants that I've done, some of them might not suit your fancy, others might just depend. I'll have a link to that. I think it's a side. I get combobulated all the time. One side will have a, um, my live streams playlist, which I'm actually doing more frequently as frequently as I can now. Uh, the other side will have my discussion and rant video. If you guys are, if you guys actually do like these kind of things, I at least do one. I do at least one every week. Um, might start doing two. I don't know. We'll see. But consider subscribing to the channel, either here. Or, you know what, I can never tell. Down there or right here. Just click that um, and click the bell icon to get notified whenever I do do it. 
or if you'd like game content, which I do more often, you might want to do that too, for specifically nostalgic stuff. That being said, I'm going to head out, uh, but I'll see you guys later. Bye now.